Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Make sure you're following us on our new social media pages, they are linked down below. And don't forget, if you hang out with me until the end of this video, you can join in on some fun when I do some comment shout outs. Today one of our lists continues once again with a part 3, Jesus take the wheel. You guys absolutely love the innocent Hollywood gossip where I dish out all the details on where some actors have ended up. Normally you can't get rid of a successful actor in Hollywood. Hollywood, but some of them just willingly walk away or just vanish without any explanation at all. Let's get started with our part 3 list of top 10 actors who disappeared from Hollywood. Starting off our list at number 10 is Angus T. Jones. The young actor made his big break on the show Two and a Half Men, but quit the show after 10 long seasons. His reasoning for leaving the show was because he felt the show was filth. He even went as far as telling viewers to stop watching it. Angus explains that as he got older, he felt the show went against his religious views. It was reported that the young actor was earning about $350,000 an episode, but he still felt confident in his decision to walk away from the show. After leaving, he joined joined different Christian groups like Forerunner Chronicles, where he made testimonial videos about his faith. He ended up becoming the president of Entertainment at Tonight, which is an events company co-founded by Diddy's son, Justin. When asked if he has any interest in returning to acting, he says, The door is definitely still open for me to do that, but I am taking things slowly. I am kind of liking the ability to travel and to move around at a moment's notice, and not have to be in one spot for years at a time. Well, that is fair enough. Good news is he's still young and has a lot of time to make his return. At number 9 is Brittany Ashton Holmes. Ever wonder what happened to that adorable little Darla from Little Rascals? You know, the girl Alfalfa secretly loves and writes his famous line to? Dear Darla, I hate your stinking guts. You make me vomit. I mean, if I got a letter that started out like that, I might quit acting too. The young actress was only 5 years old when she got the part in the movie remake of the classic show. The whole cast was great, but she definitely stole the show. After the movie was released, she continued to act but only got a handful of gigs. She ended up retiring from acting very early on in her career after she finished the 1996 sci-fi movie Inhumanoid. She went off to school and is currently working on getting a degree in political science and is now 30 years old. Before MySpace was deleted, she wrote, I was an actress when I was little and did this movie called Little Rascals. It's like really embarrassing to watch and I don't want to act anymore. She is still living in LA though, so maybe one day we will see her on our screen once again. Swiping the number 8 spot is Peter Ostrom, also known as Charlie Bucket in the original 1971 Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The child actor was just 12 years old when he was selected to play the role. After the movie, he went on to say that he really enjoyed working on the film, but that he decided not to sign a three film contract when the movie was over. When he returned home from filming the movie, he says he grew an interest in horses and was interested in becoming a veterinarian one day. He no longer had an interest in being part of the Hollywood world. He ended up going to Cornell University College College of Veterinary and Medicine in 1984 to receive his certificate. His earnings from the movie are actually what funded his purchase of his very first horse. During an interview with Express, he said, Looking back, my paycheck was paltry, but it was during filming that I became interested in medicine. So I bought my first horse with my earnings, and that started my current career path as a vet. Later on in 2005, he moved to New York with his wife and two children, and as of 2018, he works out of the countryside veterinary and clinic where he mainly works with horses and cows. As for acting, he says that he wanted to live a normal life and had declined reporters and interviews for a long period of time. He did admit that sometimes he misses acting, but says his life as a vet has also been his dream for many years. Taking the number 7 spot is Karen Parsons. She's famous for playing Hilary Banks on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Outside of the show, she had other acting success, but we haven't seen her on the big screen since 2002. Her last movie was 13 Moons and her last TV series was the job. She up and left her acting career after that and has been dedicating herself to changing the lives of other people. In 2013, she founded a nonprofit organization that teaches kids all about figures in black history. She called it Sweet Blackberry. She did an interview with Huffington Post where she spoke about the importance of her organization. She said, I quote, When you only hear about a handful of stories, the message is, every once in a while a special black person comes along. And that's a dangerous message to send to everyone. 
fun. It does nothing but harm the idea of black people. I think it's really important to tell these stories because there are lessons to be learned. Incredible lessons about perseverance and determination and opportunity to do something great. Her organization did a project that shared the story of the first black female pilot named Bessie Coleman, which ended up being a huge success. In at number six is Michael Schofling. He won the hearts of many young girls when he took on the role of Jake Ryan in the classic movie 16 Candles. He started the movie back in 1984 and quit acting not that long after in 1991. Fans were wondering whatever happened to the heartthrob and we later found out that in between booking roles, he got into making furniture. He now has a successful furniture business in his home in Pennsylvania. When asked about why he made the career path switch, he told LA Times, actors spend most of their time out of work, so I actually spend more time making furniture. The thing about furniture that's much better than acting is that it's just me. There's no director, no script, the concept is me, unless a client wants something. In film work, you do the best you can under the given circumstances, but you don't have control. At least, I don't. Well, I'm sure people would love the chance at buying a chair from Jake Ryan. Halfway through at number 5 is Barrett Oliver. Some say he was the most talented child actor of the 80s after he took on the role as Bastion in The Never Ending Story. After the success that 1984 movie brought him, he went on to star in movies like The Twilight Zone and The Secret Garden. People thought he was well on his way to be the next Hollywood star, but he ended up ditching acting at the young age of 16. In 2004, there was an update on where he was at in his life and it confirmed that he was a photography teacher in California, where he holds workshops and demonstrations about the craft. One fan visited his photo exhibition in California and posted online saying, he has a full beard, wears glasses, and has long hair. His voice was recognizable, he wasn't really tall, and spoke quietly. And let me tell you, they were not lying. He doesn't show any signs of regret or desire to return to Hollywood or acting, and fans aren't totally sure if he would even be able to at this point. Here we are at number 4 with Jeff Cohen. You might remember him from his role as Chunk in the legendary The Goonies. The classic movie came out in 1985 and he continued his acting career up until 1991. When asked why he left the industry, he cracks jokes saying that puberty forced him into early retirement as a child actor. He explains that as he got older, finding work was a lot more difficult. Once acting was out of the picture, he found a passion for law and attended the University of California, Berkeley, earning a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. The former actor went on to become a lawyer and in 2008 he was named one of the top 35 executives under 35 years of age. He continues to be a successful lawyer and says that acting has benefited his legal career because it makes him more empathetic for his clients and less academic. He has also done work for the Huffington Post and BNBC from time to time about business and legal subjects, so I guess he's still in Hollywood in some sense. Alright guys, at number 3 is Gene Hackman. The actor blessed our screens for years, but we haven't seen him since 2004 when he starred in Welcome to Mooseport. It's been said that he never officially retired, but we kind of just figured it out on our own, seeing as he hasn't worked on anything in years. Not to mention he is 89 years old now. Ever since he left the acting industry, he's taken his talent and skill to print instead. He began working with archaeologist Daniel Menahan to write three historical fiction novels. That's right, our man Hackman is known to be an author now. On top of his fiction novels, he also wrote two solo ones. In 2011, he wrote Payback at Morning Peak, and in 2013, he wrote a book called Pursuit. While fans are still missing him on the screen, I'm sure, they must be glad he's still putting his wit and talent into something. In at number two is Jake Lloyd. The once child star took on the role of the young Anakin Skywalker in the highly anticipated Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. What would seem like the opportunity of a lifetime was quickly taken from him when the movie didn't live up to its expectations. It was said that his performance got lumped into the overall fan disappointment of the movie. Before that though, he did book some other roles on TV series like ER and The Pretender. But it seems like after Star Wars, he left his acting career behind. Between the years 1999 to 2002, he has smaller credits, but mostly for being the voice on Star Wars video games. Since then, the actor has made headlines, but for all the wrong reasons. We have learned that he suffers from schizophrenia and also had a few run-ins with the law. Taking our number one spot is Danny Lloyd. For decades, horror fans have been asking author Stephen King, what happened to that kid from The Shining? Well, I am here to give you the very unscary truth. He became a pig farmer and a science teacher. The actor at the time was only five years old and now he is in his 40s, married and a father of six. In 2013, he did his first episode since he was a kid with Daily News where he opened up about his normal life, saying that people don't recognize him when he goes out in public. He explained that he did continue acting but ended up giving
giving up when he was a teenager. He said, I quote, We kept trying for several years until I was in high school and I stopped at about 14 with almost no success. Danny says he enjoyed being in the movie but went on to work at a local Walmart and drove a tractor on a hog farm. Now he teaches biology at a community college outside of Louisville. He watched The Shining for the first time when he was 16 years old with a group of friends and says that he was not scared. Just a few weeks ago, the sequel to the movie dropped its official trailer for Doctor Sleep, and fans were a bit butthurt that Danny won't be returning to reprise his role. All right, guys, there is our part three list. Share your thoughts down in the comments below, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last video. David Esterly says, "I was almost in tears after seeing and hearing that Infinity War scene with Tom Holland again." Yeah, I think that scene like will forever make us cry. Thomas Engelman says, "Hi, I came here four seconds after this video." Dropped. Wow, that is record breaking timing. Bill Stafford says, Would I get my chest hair waxed for a movie scene? Not no, not hell no, but oh hell no. Hey. I do not blame you. Steven Miller says, First time watcher, loved it. You are a great hostess, a eh? Beauty, a eh? You must be a Canadian. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Stay on this screen if you want to keep watching more beyond the screen videos. I'm your host, Joss, and I will see you next time.